Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and today's video we're going to be taking a look at the updated version of MailChimp's pop-up sign-up form. It's coming up next. Stay tuned. There are three things we're going to take a look at today. One is how to connect your site with the new version of the subscriber pop-up form. We're also going to take a look at how to disconnect your site. And we're also gonna take a look at how to create a segment from those that sign up through that form. Sounds like a plan, let's get started. So as you can see, I've logged into my MailChimp account and to get to the subscriber pop-up, we go to audience up here and then click on sign up forms, which will show us this page that I'm already on. And then we click on subscriber pop-up, click select. So prior to recording this video, I did some testing and I've already pre-formatted some pieces of my MailChimp test pop-up form. When you get in it, you'll be a blank slate and you can design it with all the features that, uh, that MailChimp gives you, such as adding in what fields that you wanna add in from your signup form, uh, what images you want over here to stay on brand, what color you want the subscribe form, and you can even go over here to the layout and you can change the different types of layout. Uh, I chose this one right here. And you can also go into style. You can change the fonts. You can change the colors, the paragraphs. You can have small, medium, or large font size. All that good stuff. The next thing we want to take a look at is the settings. Now this is where you get into the, how it's gonna appear on your website. So you have the overlay opacity, which is what is hidden when uh, this thing pops up. How much of your background of your website is hidden when uh, someone sees this pop up. So I like to keep it around 65. So I wish they would tell us the percentage here, but you have to guesstimate. So this would be zero, this would be 100. Uh, so 50 or 65 percent is probably around there. Then you can opt for when this thing appears. I've uh, tested it out at 20 seconds, so we'll keep that. And then you have two choices for position. You have the slide in and you have the modal. So notice when you click slide, you don't have an opacity setting. So just keep that in mind. So that's the form. You also have the success message and you can adjust that as you see fit. Uh, your only options at this point is to add in a link, bold, high, uh, italic, uh, change the color. So you can change the color if you want. Let's change it to a blue and then let's highlight that and change that to the blue. There you go. You can change the heading. Uh, notice you can't add any other options here. And uh, once a person sees this, I think it shows up for about five seconds and then disappears. Uh, if anyone should click the X, say, so hey, get rid of that pop-up, that disappears for a year. So you're not gonna see it, that person's not gonna see it for a year, according to MailChimp. If you're testing this and you click the X or you fill it out, you gotta clear your web cache before you see it again. Does that make sense? So keep that in mind. Our next step is to, once we've designed everything, is to connect our site. Now you can do this in any order. You can connect your site first, or you can do the form style and success message first. It doesn't matter. Um, let's click connect site at this point. So after clicking connect site, you'll see this uh, little information box that pops up. And there are two options that you have to connect your website. So your subscriber pop-up form will show. You have check out our integrations, which means you have a e-commerce solution or the type of integration that you have with MailChimp and you can use the subscriber pop-up form that way. Now, when you do those types of integrations, you'll probably see different options for your pop-up. You could say, hey, thanks for coming back. Hey, you forgot something in your cart, that type of thing. Uh, for what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna do, add the code to our website which is just a simple subscriber form. So what we have to do is put in our website address, full URL, and then we click on get started. 
For some of you who watched a previous video of mine, this will look very familiar that we have to put this code on our website. Now, what is different? MailChimp is saying that you have to add this to your head of your website. Now, for some people who are not developers or don't understand that language, will have no clue what that means, head. Uh, for WordPress folks, that means your header.php file. Now, in some cases, your theme will have an option to put in header and footer JavaScripts. That's what this is. It's a JavaScript code. What I recommend for WordPress users, if you don't want to get into the header file or do not have the option to add header and footer scripts with the theme settings, to download and install the header and footers plugin which you can find in the WordPress repository for free. On my website, I have the option to add header and footer scripts, JavaScripts, to my theme settings because I'm using Genesis. So MailChimp gives you this handy copy to clipboard. So we're gonna click on that. Notice down here it says check connection. Well, we haven't connected anything yet. So what we have to do now is go over to my website and to get to the Genesis theme settings nowadays, you go into the appearance, customize, right? And then we go into theme settings, header and footer scripts, and then we control V or command V, paste in our code, and then we click publish. All right, with that done, we can go back to our pop-up form and then click on check connection. And it'll say success, your site has been connected, great. Now you have to turn it on. And so we're gonna activate and then click on close. And when you're done making any changes or anything like that, you click save and publish. <laughs> save and publish. Now go back to our website and see what this looks. So I'm gonna go back here. So I'm gonna view this in incognito mode and then we'll wait to see what happens after 20 seconds. There you go, there it is. So a couple of things I want to point out, if I were to um, shrink this down, you notice where the pop-up goes. It just says subscribe to our newsletter with an X and a subscribe. If I click subscribe, it's gonna open up again and take the full width of your website. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this on mobile. So we'll fill it out, click subscribe. It'll say thanks for subscribing and then it disappears. So back on MailChimp, we'll go back to the audience and you can see here I've gained another contact and you'll notice here I have a pop-up separation here. And if I click on target with campaign, MailChimp says, hey, say something to this segment of your audience. Well, MailChimp is doing that segment by the source. So if since I have uh, or two contacts that signed up via the pop-up form at this point, uh, MailChimp is saying you can I can email those people through their source segment. But that's not something I created. So I want to do right now is set up a segment so that when people sign up, they'll be put into the segment where then I can further market them through an automation or one of these new journeys that MailChimp is rolling out. So to create a segment, we go to audience segments. Now you see I've already tested it here, but we'll create a new one. We'll click on create segment. And we're going to click on the first box and select sign up source. And then we're going to click on pop up form. And we'll preview that segment. It should have two people now. And you can see here, here's the source pop up form. Then I'm going to click on save segment. And we'll do subs pop up and click save. And now we've created a segment. And the last thing to talk about is how to disconnect all of this, if you'd like. The first step is to click on the edit here and disable the pop-up. Then the next step is to go back to your website and remove the header script 
all of it. There we go. Click publish again. And go back to MailChimp and click on manage connected sites. Here is his pop up. I'm going to click on it. See, it already knows that we removed the code. So we're just going to go all the way down here and click on disconnect. And that's it. Now we're free and clear of the pop up on our website. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in this type of content, feel free to subscribe and also make sure you click the little bell icon so that you get an immediate notification when a new video goes up on the channel. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.